Here's another tip from Rolling Strong with insights to help you stay healthy on the road. Hi, Coach Cloudy here with Rolling Strong. In today's video, I want to talk about one thing that you can do to help you sleep better. I know that as a driver, you might have uh, irregular sleep schedules, or sometimes you have to drive at night, or if you drive with a team, sometimes it's hard to rest while the truck is still moving. And so I find myself talking a lot uh, to drivers about sleep. So um, specifically melatonin. So melatonin is a hormone that our brain produces when it's time to sleep. It's actually what makes us sleepy and what makes us fall asleep and stay asleep. So things like stress, the light, like artificial light from our screens and from the street lights affect our melatonin production and it's also proven that it decreases with age. So as we age, we start producing less and less melatonin. So a very simple solution is to take a melatonin supplement. And I love this, um, the idea that there are melatonin supplements because it is non-addicting since it's a hormone that's naturally produced in our body and it helps you fall asleep, stay asleep and wake up feeling well rested which I think makes it different from other um, sleep aids out there. So who is a melatonin supplement for? So taking a melatonin supplement can really benefit if you have irregular sleep schedules or if you have to make the switch from driving during the day to driving during the night. Um, you can take it, you know, uh, during that transition. Also, if um, if you drive team, if you have to drive during the night, or simply if you feel tired all the time. I would say start with a small dosage, about one milligram of melatonin, and then go ahead and increase if you feel you need it. So you can start with one milligram, and then if you don't feel a difference, go to two, three, or even four milligrams per night. The way to know if you have hit the, if you went over the dosage is if you start having nightmares. So if you have nightmares, just decrease the dosage a little bit. I would recommend the sublingual form instead of the gummies. And always make sure to look for high quality supplements. So the supplement industry is a supplement industry that's not um, very well regulated. And so there are of course great brands out there. So just look for something that is high quality. And how do you take it? So you take melatonin 30 minutes before you want to go to sleep and make sure that you have enough time. So if you're going to take melatonin, make sure you have, you're going to sleep at least seven hours to feel the full benefits of the supplement. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like the tip, try it, and I'll see you in the next one. We're glad to offer these podcasts and we hope you find them useful. At Rolling Strong, we're here to help.